U of M has one of the largest, most comprehensive cranial-based programs in the country. Patients obviously are quite scared with their diagnosis. You can allay their fears when, when you tell them, I've done this hundreds of times. I think the difference that we have in our cranial-based program here is that it brings to the patient not only extensive clinical experience, but also new and cutting edge research that we offer to them that is not seen in very many other places around the country. I think the thing too that is unique about this program is that all specialists work together. And patients say invariably, this is very comforting and very reassuring to them because they're getting two, three, four, maybe five opinions all at the same time. We are one of the few places in the United States uh, who performs this subcranial approach to the front of the skull base. The important part of it is that you remove the facial bones, you don't make incisions on the face, you can approach the tumor without retracting the brain, which minimizes or eliminates the chance uh, for brain damage. We've also used techniques uh, with endoscopic assisted open approaches and endonasal endoscopic approaches. I think the advantage of using these three approaches is that the length of stay is much, much less than with the traditional craniofacial resection. It minimizes the need for uh, post-operative rehab time and typically patients go back to work six weeks after they've had their procedure. And it's very gratifying to take a patient with a very complicated problem and to correct it. And I think to see the end result is the most gratifying part of this, of this job.